this too. I, I think as a committee, Joe, what we're, what we're trying to accomplish here is get, get our best foot forward in how to um, get city council what they want, and that is a downtown location. Bearing in mind that we've got taxpayers who are behind all of these decisions. And we can't sit here and make a recommendation to city council that doesn't keep the best interests of the taxpayers in mind. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here to figure out all those options as to how to get that done. Nothing, nothing has been decided, nothing has been etched in stone. Really, no decisions have been made other than the fact that city council wants to remain in downtown Lola. Is that yeah. a, a fair statement? And we want the building repurposed to be right. a revenue generator. Right. right. And one of the things that Jay has brought up at the last meeting, and I think it's worth reminding everyone, because one of the reasons we're here today is to, is to brainstorm a little bit about who's going to own the building. And what we really mean is it's not that the city won't own it in some form or fashion. It's, and we have consultants with us here. We've got financing people here um, to kind of brainstorm and think through the pitfalls of whether it's economically viable for the city to be a landlord, for instance, to commercial tenants, or do we want to delegate the responsibility to be a landlord for some of those possible commercial tenants to someone more experienced who can, you know, manage day-to-day -day things. Our city staff is very small. Um, the other option might be to sell a portion of it off or lease a portion off to a third party so that they're then paying money into the city and they're able to charge a maintenance fee or um, you know, some, some other types of things. Or maybe it is in the best interest of the city that we keep all of the property and rather than creating air rights and leases and dividing it up um, on paper, maybe what we do is we do keep it all and create a constant stream of, of revenue for the city. But the, with that comes the, the responsibility to maintain, the responsibility to respond when tenants have needs and things like that. So I think, and Jay, you, you brought this to uh, council's mm -hmm. attention and now to the CIC at the, the forum we had a few weeks ago, that I think that's something we need to, to kind of think through. Mr. Geis has had extensive experience with that in other communities in, in lots of different forms and fashions. And, um, and I think that's one of the things we probably need to be thinking about is when we recommend to council what to do, um, in what form does it take? And it may not be something that you decide today, it may be down the road, but I think even if it's to come up with a list of, of questions and, and things we want to watch for, that's very helpful to City Council uh, with all of the real estate and development experience that are on this committee. Which was one of the reasons I was bringing up the question about who was going to own it, because if the city owns it, you're going to be a landlord of commercial downstairs and residential upstairs. So is, does that mean the city has someone on, on spot for when Mrs. Jones' toilets backs up and floods and comes through the ceiling in uh, Mr. Smith's apartment downstairs? And we've addressed that one of, the, one of the possible options is to sell off any potential residential, which would also be used to immediately defeat the debt. And it, it gives the city uh, a lot of wiggle room when it comes to uh, not having to immediately pay down some of the debt because it came in one big lump sum in the beginning, and um, you know, so those are those are those are some good thoughts, and that's something this committee has been discussing. I think you'll hear some discussion about that today.